Nigel. Thank you very much. Go You're file welcome. a brief. All right, and it continues here on Ring of Honor Wrestling. To Bobby Cruz we go. This match is set for one ball. Introducing first, Chris Miller Park, New York. Weighing 191 pounds, Will Ferrara. So Will Ferrara is getting set for action here. Finalist in the 2015 Top Prospect Tournament. And I have a feeling the 2016 Top Prospect Tournament will be something to see in the new year. But uh, Will has been going great here at ROH. His opponent tonight, certainly uh, more questions than answers, shall we say? Like, first of all, his opponent, let's get a shot at North Carolina, weighing 228 pounds, Caprice Coleman. First of all, what was in the envelope, as you can see here? Remember, not too long ago, Caprice Coleman was handed an envelope by Prince Nana. The contents of that envelope has remained a mystery. Some of the actions that we've seen of late, Nigel from Caprice's raised more than an eyebrow or two. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to give it up for Will Ferrara. Y'all give him a hand. I'm so proud of this kid from the Ring of Honor Dojo, one of the first people to come in and the last people to leave. Me and you spent a lot of time together, and it was an honor to mentor you. But you know, the more I mentored you, the shorter our conversations got. I mean, I see you on TV all the time now. You had a very great match with Kushida. I kind of wanted to wrestle Kushida. But hey, you did a good job, man. I want to let you know that even though you're doing a great job, I'm still the man with the style, the grace, the shape, and this pretty face. And if you think you've seen something now, I hadn't taught you everything. You ain't seen everything yet. Well, some very interesting comments there from Caprice Coleman. As we get set, we looked at the uh, tail of the tape and now adherence to the code of honor. And here we go. Here we go. So we talked to ACH briefly, survival of the fittest this Friday, Saturday. Uh, in Milwaukee, finals November 14th, Minneapolis. ACH faces Seidel in match five, their final match of the Unbelievable Series. That's Friday in Milwaukee, plus the Briscoes, Michael Elgin, Moose, Adam Cole, and more. Survival of the Fittest 2015 qualifiers consisting of 18 wrestlers in two four-corner survival matches, two triple threat matches, two singles matches. One winner from each this Friday. They advance to the final Survival of the Fittest six-man elimination match the following night in suburban Minneapolis, Minnesota. Winner of Survival of the Fittest gets a future Ring of Honor World Championship shot, and there is no more valued prize right now in professional wrestling than the Ring of Honor World title, Nigel. Amen. You're going to get your money's worth there, some of the best professional wrestling in the world, and like you said, you're going to see another top contender. The most prestigious world title in the world. Of course, a lot of people are pointing to final battle as Caprice takes Will over, arm drags. Ferrara with the counter, and now bars the left arm. Very nice. What did you make of what Caprice had to say at the beginning, Kevin? I'm glad that he started to come out a little bit more. We have always seen this more showy side from Caprice, and you know, in, in the locker room and things like that. It's yep. very entertaining, uh, but it seems to be coming out of his shell, and, and uh, I think that's a good thing. Think chip on his shoulder or not? Well, again, that's certainly where I mentioned some of those eyebrows being raised and some of his actions and comments as of late. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. I'm one that leans to the side of, of Caprice doing the things the right way. All right. We'll see what happens. Uh, I did want to mention quickly, of course, Final Battle 2015, live on pay-per-view, Friday, December 18th. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it's our biggest event of the year, and AJ Styles challenges for the ROH World Championship. You see that? We had Caprice take a wrist lock. We had Will Ferrara try to nip up, and as soon as he nipped up, Caprice threw that knee to the side of the jaw. Very innovative. Haven't seen it done a lot before. You see, a lot of times you take a wrist lock, you take someone down, the first instinct is to nip up. So getting ahead of the game, smart move from Caprice, really showing his experience. Great veteran move there, he now has the advantage. Great leg drop, two full decades in professional wrestling. Here's a cover and a count two. Part of the Omega wrestling tree in the Carolinas. Yeah. A lot of time in Georgia, North Carolina as well. 
Trying to separate the arm from the rest of the body there. We saw Will earlier trying to go for that scissors. Figure four leg scissors on the arm. Didn't quite get it, but it looks like that's going to be his game plan. Aim for that left arm. Oh, Ooh, and that STO ow, ow, ow. just sent Ferrara's head into the bottom turnbuckle. Yikes. I think he may have been aiming for, aiming for the middle buckle. And then the drop kick in the corner. Caprice has been on Will Ferrara when he's had the opportunity. Here's a cover. Two count. So can Ferrara get back on his feet and turn things around against the man that was quite influential, a mentor to him? Shining Wizard there. Caprice with a focused attack. Cover. Two count. Now Ferrara needs to create some space here. See how he rolled to his knees. Right for the pick in there. Get to the corner. Create that space. Riding up from underneath. Another series of knees being sent in this time in the midsection. Kick now sends Caprice tumbling down towards the corner. Product of the ROH Dojo, Ferrara has impressed many with his tenacity and toughness as he's gained experience and begun to move up the ranks. Oh. Tornado DDT, close to the ropes, two, and there we see our friend Prince Nana. What's he doing out here? He's making notes. Of course, we showed you when Nana had handed Caprice that envelope and talked later on about Caprice doing a great job of being a mentor and leading, but can he be led? Oof. So does Prince Nana have designs on guiding the career of Caprice Coleman? More smack talk here from Caprice. Oh, wait a minute. Caught him. Ferrara so explosive. Gets a near fall there. Ooh, and just runs shoulder first into the iron. Well, I was about to say, Kevin, you've got to think if Will Ferrara is going to win this one, it's going to be something quick. Well, we might have a stoppage here, Nigel. Well, Caprice. Might Zero. be giving the young man a chance. Wait a minute! Oh! Hey! When Gory stepped back, looked like Caprice wanted to ask if Will needed a minute, and instead jams his shoulder to the iron again. Well, at the end of the day, you know, you can't fault Caprice. You, well, at the end of the day, you've got to try and win. Oh, ooh, oh that's he, deep in the he shoulder. He calls this judgment seat, and he is wrenching back. Ferrara with no choice but to tap out a win for Caprice Coleman. The winner of the match, by submission, Caprice Coleman. Seemed to really gain in intensity, Nigel, as the match went along. He certainly did. I mean, perhaps when we saw Nana come out, well, Did that have an effect? Everything turned when Ferrara shoulder first the iron. Then Caprice sent him in again. Locked in judgment seat. He got the win. Never seen this aggressive a Caprice. I don't buy that handshake and I don't buy that smile. Well, is it a disingenuous look or. Hey, I guess that shoulder taken it uh, checked out. Wait, look at this. Wait a minute. Prince Nana's handing Ferrara an envelope, too. What is that? It's the same kind of envelope that he had. What in the world does Prince Nana have on his mind? 